my favorite roads, Wiseman's Ferry. Uh, so there's a couple of ways to get down to Wiseman's. One of them is through Dural and Old Northern Road. And the other way is through Cat Eye and then coming down Wiseman's Ferry Road that way. Personally, I prefer coming to Dural or Northern's Road. Um, I feel like it's, it's more like a wide sweeping um, road. It has a better flow to it. I just personally prefer it. So today I'm in the um, 2.3 litre Tommy Maxman edition, which I reviewed for you guys last week. And uh, I'm just going to take you guys out for a bit of a drive down here. So, Wiseman's Ferry Road, as you can see, I'm here. Uh, midday on a Friday. Uh, I've got a day off work just like come out here for a bit of a drive and as you can see there's no one around. It's beautiful conditions. I mean this is it. This is what you live for right? Drives like this. So it's one of my favorite roads in the fact that on this side of the ferry it, you do get these more wide sweeping. Obviously as you get closer to the ferry it does tighten up a bit and you've got a bit of a, a descent down the hill uh, to the water. A bit more campings. And then if you go up the other side, up towards Newcastle, so you can take the ferry across and keep going, uh, it's a little bit more tight, I guess more like a mountain pass, tow type feel, and so if you've got the time, I definitely recommend it. So if you come in this way, I'd say from where the road gets good, so about Dural or about, um, I guess, Kenthurst, if you go on the other way, it's about 45-50 minutes down to the ferry, so down to the water. Down the end there, there's a pub, pretty good feed, get a beer. So you can do a trip down there, get some food, have a drink, catch up with some guys, and then head back, and it'll take you about two hours, let's say. Um, oh, actually, I should say two and a half, but once you add in time for you being down there and enjoying it and all that sort of thing. But um, if you keep going, you can go all the way up, that'll add about another hour that way. Um, and then it ends up being, you know, like a five hour round trip. Um, and that's really good if you've got the time, you've got a few pals, I've done that a few times, I'll take the ferry across, cruise over, it's a really good time. And you can mix it up coming back Old Pacific Highway, down from Gosford through into Sydney that way. Um, and I'll review that road another time. But for now, let's just talk about this road. So it's single lane the whole way. Um, there are some spots for overtaking. As you can see as well, there's some spots uh, like here where you've got unbroken lines and now obviously it's gone solid again. But you know, there are options if you get stuck behind a truck or something like that. I've found in the past, generally some people will see that you're there for a bit of a spirited drive and if they're there cruising at like 70, and this is a 90 zone through here, which is another reason I like it, uh, they'll be doing like 70 or 80 and they'll sometimes pull over to the side and let you go past, which is really nice. But as I mentioned, it's 90 through most of here. And it's great, it means that you can be in 5th and be getting on it, or you can, like here, sit in 4th and then you get off and the revs and the boost a bit more and it feels like you're having a bit more of a bang without exceeding the speed limit, which is great, all for enjoying the road legally. So, as you guys have been seeing as I've been talking so far, the road is in pretty good condition. Uh, it's quite interesting, there's lots of curves and turns, there's a few straight sections as well. We can give it a bit of a bang and the scenery is beautiful this is like you can be out in the middle of aussie outback wherever it looks really nice and uh, the traffic flow through here is quite low um my first review i did on golston gorge the traffic flow through there was quite high because it's a main thoroughfare to get through between uh castle hill Dural, and uh, towards hornsby whereas this way not many people drive out here for any reason other than to A, have a drive, you'll see lots of motorbikes and stuff like that out here, or B, whether they live out here. So, the traffic's pretty good around here. So that's Wiseman's Ferry Road there to the left. So that's where you would come through if you're coming through Cat Eye. So this part of the road here is going to be the same no matter which way you start the drive. Oh, what a legend. Just sort of chilling and they're happy to do you know 10 15 under the speed limit and 
and then you've got people who come out here for a bit of a drive to enjoy their car. Now this is where it starts getting real fun, it starts getting a bit tighter, you get to make more movements with the steering. You guys do want to be a bit careful, don't take it too hard through here, there's not a lot of margin for error. You got trees and rocks and poles, power lines everywhere. So as always, I never recommend coming through here to test your limits of your car or to exceed the limit. Exceed the speed limit. If you want to do that sort of thing, just go for a speed up the street, stay down at Lakefield or whatever. Uh, but this is just if you want to come out here, enjoy the scenery, stretch the legs a little bit, have a bit of fun. So we just crossed into Wiseman's Ferry now, and we're starting our descent towards the ferry.
Yes, yeah, so that guys is uh, Wise and Strove Road. I've just pulled over in the park here. We're gonna take a bit of a breather and then head back. Obviously, you've got a lot of options with this road. You can head back, you can keep going. You can combine it however you want. You can even come through Golston Gorge to here, up through to Gosford, down Old Pack. So there's heaps of options, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And thank you guys as always, and we'll see you in the next video. Later.